Welcome to your modeling global atmospheric circulation lab prep video. And what you're going to be doing in lab this week is conducting a dish pan experiment. This can be a little tricky sometimes, so I've provided you with some links and videos um, of this experiment that's been done successfully by professionals. So for this portion of your lab, you're going to be modeling global atmospheric cycles. So we're going to be using this setup. You're going to have a round glass dish that's filled with water and then a little metal cup that's taped to the bottom of your dish so it doesn't move around too much. Now it's very important that you set this up and then let it sit for a while so that any internal currents in this tank, in this dish, are gone because you're going to be putting in some food coloring and watching what happens to those currents and to the water as it moves. So it's very important that it's very, very still water. Now what you want to do, and you can do this at first, you can set it up, put your water in, put your metal cup in, and then add a few pieces of ice so that you can kind of get things started and then let it sit for a little while longer. And then once you come back to add your food coloring, you're going to want to add a few more pieces of ice and hopefully that's taped securely so it won't move around too much. And as you're completing this experiment, you might want to keep adding ice if you notice that it's totally gone because you need the, that ice, that cooler temperature in the center of this glass dish. So hopefully you know that this is going to be the globe. So where on the planet do we have ice? Hint, hint. Where on the planet do we have warmer areas? So the edges of this glass dish are going to be those warmer temperature parts of the planet. So what you'll do is you'll take this food dye, you can use whatever color you want, and you're going to add a few drops around your tank on the surface, kind of right in between the edge of your tank and that metal cup. So add your drops. This one. Put like about three in there, and then you're going to let it sit. Now, one thing that's important to do before you do this is to put some water in a beaker and then add some food coloring to see what happens to the food coloring once you first add it to water. Now it's important to let this sit still. You don't want to touch it at all. And you're going to come back periodically and take a look at this. So you might not be able to, if you look straight down onto your tank, you might not be able to necessarily see what's happening. So it's important to look at the sides. So get your eye right down to look at the side of this dish. When you're making your sketches in your lab, you're going to be looking at it in profile view. It's very important. And you might notice um, some of the food dye may be rotating a little bit, and that might just be because you have some currents in your tank still. So for the second portion of this lab, what you're going to be doing is taking your glass dish, you're going to be putting it on a rotating platform like a lazy Susan. And then you're going to do the same thing, put your metal cup in the center, tape to the bottom, add your ice, and it's already starting to melt away a little bit in here, so I might want to add some more. Make sure you have fresh water, you don't want to have the red food coloring in it from your last experiment still, you want to make sure it's fresh. Make sure you're full of ice in the very center. You're going to start spinning your surface, so it's rotating for about five, ten minutes. Someone's going to have to be actively rotating your dish, and they're going to try to keep it at a pretty steady speed. So make sure that you're fully rested and ready to do this. Once you have it rotating for about maybe ten minutes or so, you're going to start adding your food coloring again. Do the same thing, add a few drops, keep spinning it, and then I'm going to have some little bits of material that will float on the surface of the water that you'll add in as well. You'll keep spinning it until you start to see something. You're going to sketch from the top view looking down, and then you're going to also look at it from the side as well to see what's happening, where's the dye moving in your glass dish. So two sketches, top view and side view. So the second part um, is you're going to be interpreting some of these atmospheric cycles. So you're going to be using data from researchers and videos that you watch to complete the questions in your lab. So this one is more um, using the internet than using an experiment. So make sure um, if you have questions that you email me, this one can be a little bit tricky. Uh, and use your experiments and the links I provide to answer your, the questions in your lab.